top 50 most valuable comic books of all time published in the United States. Superman in Action Comics number one has always been the most valuable comic of all time. We can see the Overstreet Price Guide lists a low grade 2.0 copy worth $170,000. And we can see the copies graded by CGC and see the true rarity of these books in high grade. Only four copies. Let's look at the entire top 50. We can see the first appearance of Batman also worth over a million dollars in high grade. To get a better grasp of any of these comics, just pause the video so you can hold on the screen of any particular book. It's fun to look at all these classic key books. These are all CGC graded copies displayed to show you what they do look like in high grade. In our chart below, you'll see we've mentioned the low grade price in the Overstreet because this is really the copies most likely obtainable, not only from a point of view of condition, but also just the likelihood of being available for sale. If you would like to invest in any of the, these books, keep in mind these are the key books of all time and therefore rarely turn up for sale. And when they do, expect to pay double the prices listed below. You also get a good perspective on just how rare these Golden Age comics are in high grade and how unlikely it is that they will ever turn up. We've also given you some estimations of how many copies may exist in total. Of course, these are just estimates, no way to officially prove this. It's interesting to look at this chart and see uh, that DC comics, uh, early superhero comics, dominate the list. Many Superman and Batman appearances are on the list. And it's also interesting to see how a few Silver Age key books have now stuck into the list. But if you compare their low grade price tag and their CGC census, you'll, you'll notice the drastic difference in the prices for low grade copies and just how many copies are in existence of these 1960s key books from Marvel comics such as Fantastic Four and Incredible Hulk. Very few non-superhero comics make the list but we do get Archie, we also get Pep Comics, we get New Fun Comics, the very first DC comic ever, we get Detective Comics number one, the very first issue of this long-running comic title. And we also get Suspense Comics. Many of the key characters ever invented all appear on this list, including Wonder Woman, Robin, Captain America, Submariner, The Human Torch, early issues of Action Comics featuring Superman make the list, and you can see how scarce these books are in all conditions. You'll see the earliest timely comics, including their first release, Marvel Comics number one from 1939, as well as a couple of the most valuable key issues of Marvel Mystery Comics, as well as the first two issues of Captain America Comics. If you would like to learn more about investing in these books and learning more about how to decide where to put your money, please check out my website, hawknesscomics.com. I have written a series of books that actually teach you how to invest in valuable comic books in any condition and will teach you a lot of history as we go along too and help you make wise decisions if you're an investor. So what we want to do is mix the investment potential but also the historical importance of these amazing classic comic books. Showcase number four featuring the first appearance of the Silver Age Flash is considered by many to be the first Silver Age comic from 1956, which would lead to eventually Marvel Comics, starting a whole new wave of new superheroes in the early 1960s. Captain Marvel, now known as Shazam, was the best-selling superhero comic in the mid-1940s. His books are still highly in demand. Wonder Woman is the longest running popular female superhero ever and her comics are as hot as ever. Amazing Spider-Man number one from 1963 featuring the second appearance of Spider-Man is the newest comic on the entire list.
Superman number two from 1939 was the first comic book to ever sell a million copies and would lead to the big boom in superheroes and start the golden age of comic books. If you'd like to learn more about comics, please come to hawknesscomics.com and learn more about our website and about investing in comics new and old and check out our series of books.